I'm Thomas, and I'm about to answer the top five most frequently asked questions about Neat Aquatics feeding portal, starting with, how big is the feeding portal opening? The opening that the feeding portal provides is just barely shy of three inches, which is plenty of room for feeding, dosing, testing, and even enough room for mid-sized aquarium tongs to fit through. Will the screws on the feeding portal rust? Absolutely not. All of the hardware, including the nuts and screws, are made from reef-safe plastic, so there is no chance of rusting. Can you use more than one feeding portal on the same net top? Absolutely, you can use multiple feeding portals to give yourself multiple places to access your tank through your net top. For example, if you have a four foot tank and you want to be able to reach corals for spot feeding using, I don't know, Julian's thing on both ends of the tank, you can easily install a feeding portal on each side to accommodate that. Where is the best spot to put the feeding portal? You can install the feeding portal anywhere you like on your net top, but a good rule of thumb is to place it towards the front of the tank near one of the corners of the net top. This is gonna keep it up front where it's easy to access and the corners tend to be where the screen is the tightest, which makes for an easier and cleaner install. How do you install the feeding portal? That's a great question. It's actually really easy and I'm gonna go ahead and step back on this one and let past Thomas explain it to you. First, press all of the nuts into the back of the bottom portion of the collar. You'll see a little raised circle on each nut. That part is gonna face outwards. Place the bottom half of the collar under the netting where you'd like the feeding portal to be, and then place the top half of the collar above it so that the holes line up. You can start threading the screws in by hand just until they start to pinch the netting. Then in a crisscross pattern, you can tighten the screws a little at a time until they're all finger tight and the feeding portal is firmly gripping the netting. You can test this by gently pressing the netting in the center of the feeding portal and seeing if the netting outside of the portal is being pulled into the center. If it is, you'll wanna tighten it up a bit more. Finally, use a sharp blade like a flat razor to carefully cut the netting out from the center of the portal and place the cap on and you're done. Then you can start using the feeding portal and stop fussing around with a big old net top, which sounds pretty nice, right? If the Neat Aquatics feeding portal matches your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.